In this video, I want to do a classic example of, uh, I have a block, and I can uh, shoot this block with either a rubber bullet or a steel bullet. And the question is, at the and each bullet has the same mass and travels at the same velocity. And the question is, which bullet is going to uh, knock the block further? the steel bullet or the rubber bullet. All right, um, and so let's let's go ahead and, and analyze this using conservation of momentum and see what happens. So first, let's look at the steel bullet. So initially, our steel bullet will give ourselves some values here. So this is some uh, one kilogram mass. Our steel bullet who travels there, uh, oop, let's give ourselves a, a 0 0.01 kilogram bullet traveling at 100 meters per second. So for our steel bullet, initially, our initial momentum, P, total momentum, the bullet is the only thing that's moving, is 0 0.01 times 100 is equal to 1 kilogram meter per second. So we'll give ourselves a, a coordinate system here. We'll go plus x to the right. Okay. And so, well, what happens when the steel bullet uh, hits the block? And we're going to, well, we have to assume something. Um, it could pass all the way through, but let's say it doesn't and it sticks in the block. So that's certainly a reasonable outcome for the steel bullet. So if it sticks to the block, what do we have after the collision? Well, then the the total momentum then, now, since the bullet and the mass are together in as one object, it has some total mass, which is 1.01 .01 kilograms, and this uh, amalgamation has some final velocity. And so this conservation of momentum, the initial and final momentum, must equal each other. And so 1.01 .01 times the final velocity is equal to 1, which means that now the um, velocity of the block is about 1 meter per second. It's, as we've calculated, it's 1 divided by 1.01. .01. So it's at about one meter per second, and then depending on friction, it'll it'll go a, a, a certain distance. Okay, so th so in, in this case, our steel bullet imparted on our large block a velocity of one meter per second by hitting it. So now let's take a look at the uh, ru rubber bullet. Okay, so initially. is we have uh, the same condition that we had before. So our bullet has the same mass traveling at the same velocity, and so it has the same momentum, kilogram per second of, of one. Well, what happens now at the final? So for a rubber bullet now, the, it's not going to um, stick into the mass, it's going to bounce off. So in our final momentum, we're going to have the uh, momentum of the, the bullet, which is the mass of the bullet, 0 0.01, times the velocity of the bullet. And so, but it's also, let's, the, the key thing since it's um, bounced off is that it will be in the negative x direction. So if we give ourselves a, a speed, v sub b, the magnitude of the velocity, then the final velocity is going to be negative v sub b, where this is now of the speed, a positive number. So then the momentum, oh, that's my bullet to the block, also starts with a b, uh, so k, the momentum of our block. 
So it has a 1 times its final velocity, which is v. So in this case, now, we have our, now this, the sum of this, then there is, is p total, which must equal our initial p total for momentum to be conserved. And so that gives us 1 is equal to uh, v, which is our final, minus 0 0.01 of the uh, rebound, the the speed of the bullet after the collision. Well, if it's a, if it's rubber, uh, it's it's going to bounce back with nearly the same speed it had initial initially. So we're going to say that the velocity of the bullet on the rebound is is approximately the initial velocity, which was 100 meters per second. And so that then gives me another. 1, v uh, minus 1, 1, so our v is approximately 2 meters per second. So, in fact, the rubber bullet imparts nearly twice the impulse of the steel bullet, and so the block will go flying, um, or at least have an initial velocity, nearly twice that of the steel bullet. And and so the thing is it, it didn't even if you this the question is still uh the rubber bullet gives the block a larger velocity even without this approximation even if it only comes back at uh 50 meters per second well then that only brings this to to one and a, the final velocity one and a half in any case as long as a rubber bullet bounces at all it the the main block will leave with a larger uh, velocity than with the steel bullet that sticks. It delivers a larger impulse than the steel bullet. And so with it bouncing off, the rubber bullet knocks it further.